Welcome back from an ad break. We will continue with our grade 10 business studies application questions. We're going to question number three, which says, identify whether the following statement represents a verbal or a non-verbal presentation. Right, the key thing here, in order for you to be able to identify, you need to know the difference between the two, between a verbal presentation and a non-verbal presentation. Don't forget, with a verbal one, this one requires an audience. The audience will sit and listen to you as you're presenting, whereas with a non-verbal presentation, they still receive the information. However, you are not saying it orally. You're not speaking. So let's see the, state, the statement here. A presentation which is delivered through speech. What is it? What does it represent? Does it represent a verbal or it represents a non-verbal presentation? Right. The second question says the transfer of information through the use of business handouts. So here we are using business handouts. The first one is delivered through speech. The question says identify whether the following statements represents verbal or non-verbal presentation. So with what I've just explained now, I'm definitely sure you know what to write. You've identified the statements and you know exactly what is represented. All right, so let's put in our answers there. Let's write the answer. A presenter delivered through a speech. What do you think that is? Yes, you are correct. The correct answer is a verbal presentation. Verbal presentation, right, and definitely the second one, since it's transferred through the use of handouts. Handouts could be an example of what? Of a visual aid, maybe, right? So what is our answer here? Our answer is non verbal presentation. Can you see how simple that is? So verbal, speech, non-verbal, yes, the message will be, um, will be received, but we, we, it's, it's received, but you're not using your voice or it's not, you're not saying it orally. All right, the next question is a scenario-based question. It says, read the scenario below and answer the questions that follow. Riboni Shuttle Services, which is RSS, Riboni was successful in establishing her shuttle service businesses. Riboni was requested to present her business reports and financial statements to the various stakeholders. She decided to greet the stakeholders in advance. She created visual aids to make her points across and memorable. Riboni spent time practicing her presentation. She also prepared the structure of her presentation. The question says, quote three factors that must be considered when preparing a verbal presentation from the scenario. So the quotation is taken from where? From the scenario, word for word. We're not changing anything. Outline are the factors that must be considered when preparing a verbal presentation other than the ones that are mentioned in A. The question does not say other than the ones, but you must know that the minute the question says other factors, it means we don't want the ones that you've quoted. So the question said three factors that must be considered when you are preparing for the verbal presentation. So in you preparing, what are the things that are important from you as a presenter? So um, what did Riboni do in preparation of this presentation? Right, in pre presenting the information. So by looking at the scenario, what do you think Reboni did as a form of um, preparing for the presentation. Let's look. Uh, I'm sure you've already identified those three, three factors. All right, let's start and reveal the answers. The first one, she created visual aids to make her points across and memorable. Let's find it. Where is it in our scenario? Right, she created visual aids to make her points across and memorable. So she is using visual aids so that the audience can be interested in what she's saying and so that the presentation can be memorable. That is very important. Secondly, Reboni spent time 
practicing her presentation. Why are you spending time preparing for your presentation? It's important that you do that so that you are also timing yourself and you're making sure that you don't exceed the time given to you or else the audience tend to get bored as you are going through your presentation and it's very, very, very long. Right, lastly, since the question said, quote, three factors, right, she also prepared the structure of her presentation. By preparing for the structure of the presentation, basically there should be a flow. You're starting off with your introduction and then you get to your body and then you're concluding so that you don't find yourself starting um, your presentation with just a conclusion or starting your presentation by going straight to the presentation and without informing us, without introducing yourself, who are you? What is the presentation all about? So with Reboni, she started, uh, she, she prepared the structure of her presentation so that there's an easy flow or a smooth flow of the presentation. Everybody will understand and everybody is interested. So you are bringing your audience closer so that they enjoy your presentation. All right. Uh, Code three factors, we're still on coding three factors. She created visual aids to make her points um, across. Uh, okay, this is just a, a, a repetition. Forgive me for that. All right, the next question says, outline other factors that must be considered when preparing for a verbal presentation. Remember what keyword is? Other. Other than once, the ones that we've mentioned, the, what else can be done? Right, so you need to write down the purpose of the presentation and list the objectives. That is the first thing that you are doing when you are doing a presentation. What is the whole point of doing this presentation? What are you aiming at achieving? What are the goals of this presentation? You list them down. That is important. Consider the audience. For example, who are they? What do they already know and what you want them to to know. So you study your audience, you consider the audience so that even the information that you are presenting is relevant. It's in their age like that. You don't want to find yourself presenting something that is relatively easy or boring for the audience or something that they don't understand or they cannot relate to. So consider your audience, know them, study them. Right? You need to prepare the structure of your presentation. Um, be fully conversant with the content of your presentation. Know your presentation. Study your presentation. Do a thorough research on your presentation. Know exactly what you are presenting on. That way you are able to even um, think of the, of the questions that might come up or the, the questions that the, the, the audience might ask. So you are anticipating the questions. You need to visit the venue and ensure that the visual aids, the equipment area is available and also check that the generator is available in case of load shedding or loss of electricity. So I normally say here you need to have a backup, a backup plan. So you are doing that so in case, uh, in case uh, there's load shedding, in case something does not go according to plan, do I have something to fall back on? Because you don't want to waste uh, the audience's time because they're sitting there waiting to hear from you. So what you need to do is to go there beforehand, before the start of the presentation, visit the venue, ensure that everything is fine. If you need furniture, ensure that the furniture is readily available to accommodate everybody. You don't want to find yourself now having only 10 tables and 10 chairs, but yet you've got 20 people or 30 people attending your audience, I mean your presentation, and then there's going to be a chaos in your presentation. So you need to ensure that you visit the venue and check that all the visual aids and the community area, I mean the equipment area is available. That is very important. All right. Um, those are the answers. So we are wrapping up our lesson. But before we wrap up, we're going to take a break. And then when we come back, we'll just conclude our entire um, lesson. I'll see you after the break. <laughs> 